What's good, everybody? My name is Mateo Toro. I'm a running gun filmmaker based out of Reading, Pennsylvania. And if you were like me, you were on the market for a matte box, and you happen to come across the lightweight matte box by Small Rig 2660. And it was a very affordable matte box. It's very lightweight, so it's a very compelling purchase. I purchased it, and immediately to my disappointment and to a ton of other filmmakers, you weren't able to use screw-on filters. You were now forced to purchase square 4x4 or 4x4.5 filters to be able to control the exposure if you wanted to use this matte box. And that was a big disappointment because I've already invested hundreds of dollars into so many different filters that I have in my kit. So to now have to be forced to purchase square filters that are, you know, averaging $300, $400, depending on what you want to purchase, it's a bit of disappointment. So then Small Rig decided to fix the solution and they released the mini matte box 3196. And that matte box now did allow you to screw on filters thanks to the adaptive ring that came with the mini matte box. I purchased it because now I'm able to use my screw on filters. And then my bigger disappointment with the mini matte box is the fact that it was about half the size. The flag was about half the size of the lightweight matte box. And it just looked like a little toy. I'm gonna be completely honest. And the fact that it was the same price as the lightweight matte box to me just was a bit of a slap in the face because I think Small Rig could have just introduced the same adaptive rings they did with the mini matte box so we could use our screw on filters with the lightweight matte box. But here I am showing you that now Small Rig has released adaptive rings for the lightweight matte box that now allows you to screw on filters and use your lightweight matte box. So let me show you real quickly what we have here. I haven't seen really any other person talk about it. I guess they haven't noticed the fact that Small Rig released this on their website. Um, I put a pre-order on B&H and I finally have it here. So this is the adaptive ring and you're gonna be very familiar with it if you purchase the mini matte box because it's the same adaptive ring. However, it's just a bigger thread size since the lightweight matte box is 114 millimeters. So here I have the 82 to 114 as I have a 82 millimeter lens right here, my 24 to 70 G Master by Sony. So if you haven't installed the lightweight matte box before and you wanna see quickly how it is, all you do is you grab the adaptive ring and you just screw it on. So real simple, nice and tight. The final step is you literally just place the matte box onto that ring and then all you do is just screw on this little knob right here on the side. And then voila, your matte box is now easily installed in less than 30 seconds and allows you to just, as a running gun filmmaker, never miss your shot and be able to control your exposure, control the amount of light that you want to come into the to the lens. I really love this matte box because again, it's very affordable, it's $99. It looks really great, it looks very professional. It looks badass also, I love the carbon fiber um, look to it. So as you can see, now we have an extra filter ring inside the matte box. So I'll show you how that works. All you wanna do is grab yourself one of your um, screw on filters. Here I have an 82 millimeter ND filter and you just screw it on takes a little bit of a all you do is screw it on just like that and boom now you're able to use your lightweight matte box with your screw on filters to me being able to use my screw on filters is a very big benefit and i was very disappointed when i first purchased it and i couldn't use my screw on filters because i have hundreds of dollars invested into different various screw on filters and i just didn't like how small the mini matte box was so i have filters from prism lens effects i have kaleidoscope filters i have bunch of ND filters, polarizer filters, dream filters. So to go from using them all the time and then wanting to have a matte box and not being able to use them was just a big letdown. So as you can see, now you can just screw them on very simply. And now you have yourself a nice kit with a matte box and your screw on filters. So what are the big differences between the mini matte box and the lightweight matte box? At this point, it's just the fact that the mini matte box already comes with the screw on adaptive rings where you can screw on your filters. The lightweight matte box at this point, you're gonna have to make that extra $70 investment to be able to screw on your ND filters. To me, I think it's a no brainer because the lightweight matte box and the mini matte box are the same price. And for you to have just a bigger flag, it's gonna allow you to control much more the light of how much is gonna come into your lens. You're gonna be able to control your exposure a lot better now because you're not forced to use those square filters. So now, the fact that I have my 
variable ND, I'm able to control the exposure just to my liking, depending if the weather's changing, depending if I'm using a lot of lights and it's very intense. Having screw on filters is just very, very essential in my opinion. And the lightweight matte box, again, it's a lot bigger. It just looks more professional. So when you're on a set, no one's gonna be questioning your <laughs> capabilities because as we know, sometimes perception is a major factor in what we do. So here you see, I have my lightweight matte box, my ND filter, I have my Tilta Pro Kit cage on my A7S III. And I just have a great handheld rig where I can just easily get some really cinematic shots with less jitter and also be able to control the amount of light coming into my lens. So at this point, if you're on the market looking to buy a matte box, I would definitely recommend the Small Rig Lightweight Matte Box 2660. It's very affordable. It's carbon fiber, so it's very lightweight. It won't add a lot of weight to your handheld rig, so you're not gonna be exhausted after a full day of filming if you don't have yourself an easy rig. Um, and it's just a bigger flag compared to the mini matte box. I would not go with the mini matte box if I were a filmmaker in the market. I've had both. I returned the mini matte box once I realized they were gonna come out with these threaded screw-on filters that would allow you to screw on your ND filters or whatever kind of filters you have in your kit. All right, everybody, I hope this video was insightful and now you know that you can use your screw-on filters with the lightweight matte box. All you have to do is purchase those adaptive rings. I'll have the link below so you can purchase those and be able to use all the screw-on filters that you might have. Again, like, I have a ton. I just have, like, so many different filters that I love to use. I have kaleidoscope filter. I have a dream filter by Prism Lens Effects different kind of polarizers and ND filters depending on just what I'm shooting. Um, so not having access to them, when I had the lightweight matte box at first, it was just like, damn, like, what am I going to be doing with all these filters? I can't just like resell them. People don't really buy used filters like that. And I didn't want to invest hundreds of dollars again onto those square tray filters because they start at like 300 for like quality glass, especially the ND ones. And they're not variable. So then you're not really able to really control the look or the exposure on your image since they're not variable. You'd have to just waste so much time taking out those trays, putting trays, depending on if it's a cloudy day and light is changing um, ever so often based on the weather. So there you go. Lightweight matte box, screw on filters. It's now possible. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video was insightful. Leave any comments below in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up if you got some insight on this video. And I appreciate everyone watching. I'll see everyone in the next one. Peace.